Okay, I think now I'm alive. It took me like two times. So I just want to see, um, can, I just want to see, can people hear me? Because it took me a couple times to get on here. So I just want to make sure people can hear me. Um, to be nice. Oh, I'm getting a thumbs up. Yay. Yay. <laughs> Is it, is it being clear enough? I just want to make sure. Let's see, I just want to get this set all set. Okay. All righty, cool. You can hear me? Okay, awesome, awesome, okay. <laughs> it's like I was trying like three times. It's like, oh no, don't tell me Facebook isn't working today. <laughs> so, um, okay, so it's all good. Thanks, thanks, Lynn, thanks, Michelle, thanks, Nikki. Um, Oh, and thank, thanks so much, Lynn. Um, I'm, I'm actually kind of nervous about today's video. So, so thank you guys um, for, for all your, your comments and, and compliments. <laughs> I don't mean to laugh because it's, it's not a funny video today, but I'm sitting there going, oh, technology is just not working with me. So I want to thank everybody for, for being here on today's Facebook. Um, um, I have a really important announcement I want to share, and I figured Facebook Live is, is the best way to do it um, to really get the message across. Um, in fact, I even have some notes here to the side because I do have um, a bit of bereavement brain. And if anyone has ever experienced it, you will know what bereavement brain I'm talking about. It's a little bit like cotton brain. Um, so for those of you, I, again, thank you so much for being here today on this call. Um, um, and I'm Kate Beaters. I am the, the, the uh, breakthrough success expert for those of you who are new to me. And I want to share something really important that's going on and um, with me. So... Oh, deep breath. Okay, so two years ago, I joined a club that um, that I never wanted to join. And it's a club that you don't have an option. It's a club you don't get to choose when you join. Um, and it doesn't matter what your, um, your economic background is, where you live, your age, nothing matters. When you are called to join, you join. And what I'm talking about is the death of my dad, the death of one of my parents. And if there's anybody on here who's ever experienced that, you kind of know what I'm talking about. It's a club that you've never ever wanted to join. Unfortunately, you just you just don't get any choice. And when my dad passed away, I had um, both the honor and privilege of holding one of his hands. Sorry, it still makes me sad. Um, holding one of his hands when he took his last breath. And I don't think I'll ever ever in my entire life ever experience anything as powerful as as that um, as that experience and again if anyone's ever been through that um, you, you know what I'm talking about it's a very very deep deep experience more recently um, a little over two weeks ago my mom passed away and over the last two years I had the privilege of honor of knowing that this was coming um, and I got to spend a lot of really amazing quality time with her um, and to really have some memories that I will carry in my heart forever and ever. Um, and, and so for that, I'm, I'm so grateful that I had that, that honor to do. And if you have ever lost a parent, you know, you, everyone experiences it differently. You know, they talk about the five stages of grief and all that. And, but one thing that, that I experienced both with my dad and then with my mom is, um, is thinking about all the things that they taught me, all the, the really good stuff um, that kind of made me who I am today. And I started actually kind of thinking about a lot of that stuff even before my mom passed away, just because she was in hospice and we knew it was coming. And, um, you know, so we, my mind just kind of went there and, and just trying to really treasure each moment. And one thing my mom always taught us is that you don't ask, you don't get. And what she was talking about is, you know, knowing that, you know, what you want and, and really going after it. And, um, I always thought like everybody was taught that. I figured just like, um, you know, we all were taught to like tie our shoes by our parents or, or to make our bed or clean our room or do dishes, whatever. I figured everybody was taught that and I, I learned differently. But I heard those words from, from my mom like my whole entire life. Um, I mean, even up till, you know, just maybe about a month or so ago, I mean, I was hearing those, those words from her. And, and one of the memories I really have of that is I probably was about 15, 16 years old and, um, um, I used to babysit for the, uh, the president of one of the big Boston colleges. They were our neighbor. They lived a few houses down. And um, I used to babysit for one of his daughters. And so he, um, 
he called me up and he wanted me to babysit and being a minor, I was like, you know, like 16 or something. I had to go ask my mom's permission. And she said, she goes, wait a minute, before you say yes, she goes, remember, he owes you money from the last time you babysat. So before you go saying yes, I would, I would think about that and remind him to pay you. So here I am like the 16 year old kid and I got to go tell the president of a college, you know, big Boston college, like, hey, I'm happy to babysit, but you got to pay me like the 15 or 20 bucks you still owe me. So that was a huge, huge learning experience, both as, as, as you know, a young adult learning to stand up for myself, um, to not be intimidated by this man who was, like I said, you know, this powerful position and to be able to, to do it and, and he paid me. So all was good. So this has been a big part of, of shaping who I am, how I live my life, um, the successes I've had in my life. And I see the same with both my sister and brother, that it's also shaped them. And now I see it being passed on to their kids as well. And it's, it's really, really cool how that all happens. And so what I had decided, um, when I knew my mom's life was coming towards an end, and I, I do an event in June, um, I decided to, to kind of revamp my event. I do that every couple of years. And decided this year I kind of wanted to be on, on what my mom taught me because I realized that not everybody is taught that. Um, that not everyone is taught you don't ask, you don't get. They, you know, they're taught different things from their parents, maybe how to cook or how to sew or how to garden or how to speak a foreign language or whatever, you know. And so I told my mom I was going to do this event and I told her it was going to be called Ask for It Live. And I think she got a kick out of it. I hope she did. And um, so anyway, so that was all going. I, I started planning that months ago. Well, when my mom passed away, and if anyone's ever gone through this, you, you know what I'm talking about. You know, you, you go through a zillion different thoughts going on in your brain and all that. And um, when I had a chance to kind of just even breathe, I kind of asked myself, like, do I still even want to do this event? You know, I don't need to do the event. I don't have to do the event. I could certainly spend my time just kind of grieving, right? You know, I could take this time and just grieve and go slow and you know, just go through all the stages and all that kind of stuff. And, and I could, and, and, and that would, there would not be a single thing wrong with that. And so, but I wasn't sure that was the right thing. So I talked to um, my coaches. I talked to my, um, I talked to my team. I talked to my, I'm not a religious person, but I did talk to my spiritual advisors. Um, and I also talked to what I call my brilliant self, my, my inner wisdom, my inner guidance. And said, so, like, what's the right thing to do here? And I got really quiet. And what I decided the right thing to do was to damn well do this event. And not just to do this event, but to just damn blow it out this year. To blow it out in honor of my mom. To make this the best damn tribute to her and everything she taught. And all the amazing things that she knew that she passed on that I now in turn get to pass on to the thousands of people I work with or the people I speak to on main stages all over the place. And so I decided I, I could easily have just said, no, I'm going to postpone or whatever. But I said, no, damn it. I'm doing this in honor of my mom. And so that's why I'm doing this announcement, because I wanted to share with you just how important this is, her teachings for you to learn and, and understand and pull them into your life and just how important it is for me to be to be able to do this. And so this event is called Ask For It Live. Um, and if you want to check it out, you can go to askforitlive.com. And it's really about learning how to, you know, something really important, especially for entrepreneurs, is being able to charge and earn what you're worth, right? Instead of undervaluing yourself. So we're going to be learning how to do that. You're going to learn how to set boundaries so people are not walking all over you, that you're not giving away your, your time, your energy, your money, your resources, that you're able to say no when you need to say no. They're able to get involved with certain opportunities. You're able to create certain opportunities, certain partnerships that you're not afraid to approach people. Um, because what I learned when I started sharing what happened to me over the last week with people and hearing people who were, were telling me things like, no, my mom taught me, like, don't be a pain. Don't be a pesk. Don't be pesky. Don't bother people. That's the message so many of you were heard. And that's the message so many of you got growing up. It's like, don't bother people. Right. So basically what you're taught is to play it small. And I want to teach you how to show up in your brilliance because there is no limit. There's absolutely no limit to all you can be, do and have in your life. And maybe you were taught to ask for it. Maybe you weren't. Maybe you were taught and you forgot about it. But I want to remind you about it. I want to teach you how you can now do that and how you can implement it, because when you do everything, in your life changes. And how does that happen? Because this event is very, very different 
than any other event you've ever been to. And that's because you don't walk away with this big fat, fat, fat binder and then say, okay, now what do I do? Instead, you actually start experiencing transformation while you're there. You start releasing blocks. You start getting clarity. You start stepping into who your new brilliant self is. And how do I do that? I'm an expert in a technique called tapping. And that's a mindset technique that's probably one of the most powerful I've ever seen that helps people release stories, fears, doubts, all those things holding you back that are keeping you stuck. Also, I'm pulling in laws of attraction. And for those of you who don't know what laws of attraction is, laws of attraction is in really simple terms is that you attract back what you focus on. So laws of attraction exist whether you know how to use it or you don't. Just like gravity out there, oxygen, right, it's there. So why not learn how to use it in the best way possible? Because I'm going to be teaching you some of the important laws and then how to make them work really, really powerfully for you. I'm also going to pull in neuroscience. And we're not going to be studying the, the anatomy of the brain so you can take a deep breath. That's not what, what I mean. But I am going to be teaching you how to use things so you, you can go through your day stress-free, you can have more clarity, you can stay focused, become more creative, and be more energized at the end of the day instead of going like, you know, I got through it. And so you can feel really good about all you accomplished because that's how you can use neuroscience. And lastly, I am an expert in strategies. It's something I did in corporate. I was a business development executive. So it's not going to be all mindset work. You're actually going to learn strategies to pull into your life to make you that brilliant self. And that's what's so important because your life is going to happen whether you deliberately create it or you don't. So I want to teach you how to live more in your focus. And what's so cool is that the reinforcement I've been hearing from people as I've been sharing this message has been amazing. And I want to just share, um, I actually got a, a text from somebody um, earlier this morning. And I'm not going to, I won't share her name because um, I didn't tell her I was going to share it. But I, um, what she wrote, and I just loved, you know, I was telling her what was going on. And she just said, you know, because about the event and everything, she goes, Love it. She goes, love everything about it. Let her be my mother, be your driving force. She said, I will tell every female entrepreneur I know. She goes, because she lost her dad. She said, my dad's drive is my driving force. And that's why I get up every day and try to be the best person I can be. That's how he lived his life. And I know he'd be proud. And I'm sure your mom is too, gay, is too Kate. I'm sure she's so proud of the woman you have become. Let's make it big. Let's make it big. So my ask for you, I am asking something, right? Because it's asked for it. I'm asking you if this resonates, if you're ready to step into that next level, if you're ready to show up in your brilliance, I am asking you to, to check out the page, askforitlive.com. Join me in June. Join me in Boston. Be with the most amazing group of entrepreneurs because I always attract the best people. Show up. Be there. And if for some reason, and thank you guys for the hearts, if for some reason it, 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 you feel like, hey, I'm good where I am. I don't need to go any further. You know, that's cool. But then I'm going to ask for you is, because here's the thing, people always say to you when, when you lose somebody, there's a death, they go, I'm really sorry for your loss, um, sending you lots of love, um, sending you positive energy. And not that that stuff isn't appreciated, it certainly is. But the thing is that people say that because they don't know what they, they, they can do. And what I'm asking you to do is what would mean the world to me and to my mom is share my message, share this video, share the sales page, the um, the, Kate, the askforitlive.com, share that URL with your friends because even if you're not ready for this or you don't feel you need it, you have to know somebody in your circle who wants to really, really step up into that, who wants to step into their brilliance and lead an amazing life and have amazing opportunities and make the money that they deserve and partner up with people and just really just own who they are with all sorts of confidence. So that's what I want to share with you. I am doing this. I'm going big. Um, as we say in Boston, I'm hitting it, going to hit it out of the ballpark. People always have transformations at my event. I'm going to make these events, these transformations even bigger and more powerful. And I am doing this in honor of my mom. So I hope you'll join me. I hope I see you in June. If you're not sure, reach out to me. I'm happy to have a quick conversation or email, whatever it is that you want to help you decide, is it the right thing or wrong thing? But please join us if this feels right. Learn how you can ask for it too. So join me in June and ask for it live. And I just want to make sure there are no questions. I don't think so. I think you guys are all just giving me hearts and things like this. So thank you guys for all the hearts. Thank you all for listening. And I will see you then. And as I always say, until we meet again, be brilliant. Thanks everybody for being here. Please share this video.